welcome to pk assist hope i am audible if i am audible please uh, give a thumbs up uh, in the chat so that i can proceed further we'll be, uh, be, begin this webinar in next one minutes so uh, kindly comment in the chat box if i am audible to you So I am getting comments. I am getting a uh, thumbs up from the chat in the chat. So I believe I am audible. Hi, uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, uh, wherever you are in the world. Uh, I am Reggie from Picky Assist India team. So today we are going to discuss uh, about uh, how to automate your business with uh, Google products and WhatsApp. Yes, it's a very interesting subject uh, like uh, Google and WhatsApp together. Uh, works for your business uh, many of uh, many of businesses many of you might be using google uh, as well as whatsapp these are two popular apps uh, comes from whatsapp from the facebook and google have wide range of products right from google forms google sheets google ads gmail so we will be discussing in detail uh, how the, uh, the integration works and what are the different possibilities uh, each businesses can achieve uh, using the Google products and WhatsApp. So, in this webinar, we will cover or you will learn uh, the main five topics. So, how to send WhatsApp message to one or many when a, many users when a Google form is submitted. Then the second one is sending WhatsApp message when a record status change in the Google Sheet. Then sending automatic remainder recurring messages from Google Sheets. Uh, fourth one is sending and receive WhatsApp message from Gmail. Yes, you can. You will be able to send and uh, receive WhatsApp message right from your Gmail account. Then integrating uh, Google into sorry, integrating WhatsApp into Google Ads. Like if you have a Google lead form as part of the call to actions uh, of any of your Google Ads, uh, like then you will be able to set up instant alert whenever this form is submitted so we will be covering these five topics today and uh, so uh, for those who are very new to picky assist platform uh, because we have around uh, 500 plus participation today so those who are very new to picky assist so picky assist is an online communication platform which assists businesses across the world to automate their uh, communication through uh, different social messaging channels so these are the main core products which we have team box is mainly designed for the team collaborations on the whatsapp that means uh, you will be able to share one whatsapp number with uh, multiple team members then uh, the uh, smart replies is based on artificial intelligence where you can keep your business open 24 by 7 without deploying any employees at the back end uh, like uh, if somebody asks any questions then the smart reply can engage you uh, engage uh, them automatically even even somebody is asking a question at uh, night 3 am still the smart reply will work then the sequences is one of the favorite tool or one of the marketers uh, specialist uh, which helps you know uh, uh sense series of uh, uh, whatsapp messages so this helps for nurturing leads and have many use cases then broadcaster is also one of the favorite for marketing people uh, which able to send personalized uh, mass messages to uh, to whatsapp you can upload from the excel sheet and you can segment users with the different tags then the connector connector is a newly launched features uh, which helps you to integrate whatsapp into 3000 plus apps without uh, you know writing any uh, single code or without using zapier or any other uh, automation platforms out there this is completely inbuilt into the picky assist platform then we have a mini crm which able to manage all the contacts and their attributes or values then segment segment them with the tags or categories so so all these products together then we have an upcoming product which is scheduled to be launched in the next one or two months that is a flow builder where you will be able to create chatbots advanced chatbots uh, with our track and prop so these are the products uh, which picky assist got uh, for businesses around the world 
and these products uh, seamlessly works with uh, uh, these channels right now so channels basically uh, we more focused on the emerging or new channels like whatsapp facebook messenger and instagram and we are continuously integrating more channels like uh, uh, google uh, business messages is under integrations then telegram is also under integration right now we got whatsapp official api we are an authorized isv of whatsapp uh, to onboard clients across the world for their whatsapp a uh, official api product then we do have our own whatsapp automation tool uh, which help that is called whatsapp automation which helps you to connect uh, your existing whatsapp business or personal with the picky assist and you can achieve the same level of automations then the uh, facebook messenger you can connect your facebook messenger or instagram uh, instagram is uh, already got integrated right now uh, then we do have a chat so these are the channels uh, which we covered right now and we continuously update uh, new channels for you okay so uh, uh at the end of this webinar those who have attended the webinar we will be announcing a bonus offer some kind of a discounts exclusively for uh, uh, for those who completed the webinar and uh, so kindly stay tuned till the end of the webinar for getting the uh, offer so uh, you will be finding a lot of uh, possibilities uh, uh, after uh, you know attending the webinar uh, to automate with the uh, whatsapp and google products which definitely boost your uh, business communications not only boost it can streamline your business communication it can get organized your business communication so let's get started uh, so i will be just uh, moving uh, forward to okay so uh, so these are the products which i have already explained like the google products google uh, google forms and gmail and whatsapp have whatsapp business and official apps then picky assist uh, in between helps google uh, helps business to integrate google products into whatsapp uh, uh, and it works with uh, all the uh, products which we have got okay so uh, this integration that is google uh, uh, integration google into uh, whatsapp integration make use of our connector feature a connector uh, which we have already explained like uh, without any coding you will be able to connect into multiple apps not only google but it can connect to many other popular apps like the soho calendly or many other uh, uh, apps out there uh, so we are not getting much into those connector but we will covering those features uh, in during this uh, webinar all right so in between uh, if you have any doubts we I, we have uh, our teams joined at the back end who will be assisting you through the chat so in if you got any doubts then you can just ask in the chat box and our team uh, will uh, give you the reply all right so after the webinar also you you have options to ask the questions directly so in between uh, if you got any doubts uh, related to any of uh, the slides or uh, the the features which we are explaining which are more related to your businesses you can ask uh, we are covering in a generic uh, way to uh, what are the possibilities which can be achieved so we will get started right now with the google sheet so what is google sheets so many of you know that google sheet is like an excel sheet uh, but the differences between the google sheet and excel sheet is uh, the ability to collaborate with the multiple google users yes you will be able to uh, you know share the google sheet with the multiple users so that whatever you are viewing uh, your team members are also able to view with the google sheet so it's an advanced kind of a excel sheet but with a team collaboration in the mind okay so uh, so in the google sheet uh, we have an event based alert systems possible so what is event based alert system we will take a use case of a restaurant uh, who who is a very small restaurant taking order from the uh, google forms or uh, as part of their digitalization process uh, even somebody is calling they take the order and they, they fill their uh, google sheet so that they can later get an idea how much order they got and what is their value so for those purpose the google sheet or google products are completely free of cost until 15 gb which is very enough for a small or medium customers but beyond that you have to pay a small amount uh, uh, to google to use uh, but 15 gb is pretty uh, uh, cool for uh, normal businesses so what is event based alert so whenever an event got updated in the google sheet like like here uh, we have mentioned uh, as an order is accepted 
so when the when a specific uh, column in the google sheet got changed from one status to another that is called an event so it can be anything so it, for the for the demonstration purpose we have mentioned google is order is accepted order is ready order is dispatched order is delivered so when the order is accepted it sends a whatsapp message to the rider and customer informing uh, that uh, there is a new order which has been accepted by the uh, restaurant so be prepared for that then the prepare for the rider then uh, also it informing the customer that your order is accepted and when the order is uh, ready then it can still inform your rider as well as the customer when the order is dispatched we can inform the customer and when the order is delivered as well we can inform the customer this everything works uh, uh, without any manual intervention so you just need to maintain uh, just change the update uh, you know just make change the update in your uh, a google sheet uh, so this is a sample google sheet which 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 we which we have demonstrated for this purposes so uh, yeah, for any automotions for any uh, you know if you want to send a whatsapp message obviously we need a uh, number so we will be asking the number in the form make sure that whenever you are building a form that uh, your form contains the whatsapp number with the country code if you are uh, you know marketing only in one country then country code may not be uh, used but uh, like if you, if you are customers across the multiple uh, countries then the country code is mandatory to send the messages then this is a demonstration purpose then we are presenting them uh, you know uh, the the menu available then customers can just you know uh, uh, type the uh, requ required in this column and they can put the addresses so all these forms data will comes into uh, excel like this so whenever you are uh, submitting this like uh, forms uh, submitting the forms or whenever your customer is submitting the form that you will be getting the orders details in a in a excel sheet or in a uh, in a google sheet not excel sheet uh, like a google sheet which is very similar to excel view all right so from here, uh, the automotions work. So we have two kind of automotions possible right now with the event-based alerts. Uh, whenever the order status get changed, then apart from that, it is possible also for the uh, recurring alert from Google Sheet to WhatsApp. So I will demonstrate this part once we completed all the possibilities. So we will be demonstrating how it works or how it can be set up. So that will uh, do after this session. Uh, so let's go with the other possibilities of recurring alert from Google Sheet. So Google Sheet, uh, not only based on the event, but you can also set up the recurring alerts like the automatic birthday anniversary wishes you will be able to send to your customers considering that their birthday or uh, birth date or uh, anniversary is somewhere in a Google Sheets then you will be able to send uh, sending reminder nowadays many businesses used to manage their uh, your due bills and every information google sheet uh, so this google sheet or excel sheet then these informations can be uh, taken from the uh, google sheet and send them the reminders before x days like before two days or after two days if the status is not paid so this kind of uh, remainder you will be able to send and recurring messages is one of other features where you will be able to uh, send a message in every day or every week or in every month a specific date like a tax remainders if for the tax consultations uh, or those use cases you will be able to send uh, con recurring messages so once you configure the system will keep sending the messages uh, a two to one or a group of customers it will keep sending the messages saying that uh, you have uh, this uh, this task pending on every every specific day or year or it can be configured in any way uh, then another possibility is value based triggers so value based triggers is something which you can configure uh, on a weekly or monthly basis uh, where the, our system checks for uh, any true or false value like uh, if the due is uh, uh, if if a specific invoice is due or overdue based on that status uh, you will be able to take different actions either to send a message or you can assign a team members with a picky assist team box where the where the team collaboration is possible for an example if an invoice is overdue for last two 10 months sorry 10 days then you will be able to uh, send a message to your uh, customer at the same time uh, 
since the uh, uh, the due is more than 10 days then it is possible to uh, you know uh, alert your team members that is based on the da date oldness uh, which which can be which, which is a combination of value based triggers and the date based alerts you will be able to do it we will demonstrate this don't worry so we just uh, we will just complete the possibility so that uh, then multiple condition based triggers also which works similar to uh, this you can uh, create different kind of the conditions uh, uh, to send because uh, if you have a very a big excel sheet we may not uh, need to send the message to all users uh, uh, whenever a specific condition met so we we have the options to uh, to filter the uh, you know uh, uh, conditions based on your requirements and send the messages it is not only limiting to send the messages it is possible to take other actions uh, with the pick assist platform where uh, you can segment the customers you can add a tag or you can remove a cache so a lot of actions is possible which we will demonstrate so we will uh, uh, just you know uh, uh, go for the uh, next next option we'll just uh, move to the next option is google forms uh, so in the google forms also on a uh, on a google uh, submits which we already shown a google form there are conditional based sample google forms this is a contact form uh, then uh, this is uh, another uh, form for a resto uh, it's an order form uh, so a, a condition based uh, uh, triggers can be done as I explained earlier. Now here, uh, Google form, uh, you, you can, can collect the customer data like orders, contactors, callbacks, support query. So anything you can build with the Google forms and whenever a Google form uh, is submitted, you can send a thank you message to your uh, customers uh, and you can even inform uh, someone in your team. And you know, uh, you can even those who are using WhatsApp web automation, even can post this Google form information into a groups uh, if if that specific uh, you know requirement uh, required uh, a multiple team members to, for the fulfillment per services. So that can be even a message can be posted to the uh, Google uh, sorry uh, WhatsApp groups as well. Not only one group you can even post into multiple groups. Uh, it's completely automated process. One setup you don't need to do anything. Whenever someone submits the Google Forms, it comes to a Google, uh, it comes to the WhatsApp groups. So you can able to send personalized condition alerts like based on the value in the uh, in your Google Sheet. For an example, here uh, sales department and uh, somebody somebody selects the sales department, then it is possible to uh, route this specific inquiry in the picky assist team box to the sales department so that the sales department can see this information right inside the team box and effectively handle the customers okay so whatever whenever there is a sales query which has been there then it can be given it, it can be forwarded into the picky assist team box and they will be able to uh, assist them accordingly and you can even uh, route based on the country uh, uh, as well like if you are if you have a dedicated team for, team for different countries then based on the country code that is the, the beginning starting from if you are from india then nine one the number starting from nine one then you can route to the indian team if you are if you have team in us then uh, any number starts from the, the country code starts from the one or similarly you can do a combinations of uh, uh, numbers uh, so that you can even achieve the uh, the conditions based on uh, uh, this uh, Asian countries or based on such regions as well. All right. So uh, then we, uh, we have an instant quotation possibilities where uh, where we can able to create an instant quotation based on the values in the Google Forms. Uh, it has been useful uh, for many industries as one example if you take about the uh, small home stays kind of a thing so two nights to four adults what would be the cost and so instantly when someone fills the google form then we have a, a feature in our connector uh, called math calculations which helps we will demonstrate that as well we will just show you how it works uh, then it can it can calculate uh, you know, you, it, it can multiply or uh, you know addition or subtraction uh, thing and you can send an instant code them along with the payment link for making the payment as well so that is going to be a very seamless in in, in that way then uh, whenever a, a auto follow ups can be made whenever a user submit the forms then you can uh, automatically uh, follow up them uh, to to make the business closer on time uh, then another possibility whenever a google form is submitted is the trip campaign uh, 
uh, okay so the trip campaign is something uh, which i have explained in the uh, initially that a series of messages can be sent uh, to educate or, or to nurture your clients depends on your business requirements you can uh, you can enroll uh, users the customers who are filling the form into different trip campaigns okay you can create many trip campaigns with the pick assist and able to enroll them based on the conditions for example a user uh, is enrolling a specific course okay you will be able to enroll them in uh, the specific uh, trip campaign which is related to that course and automatically the user will, will start getting the messages or course materials as configured by you in the in the trip campaign of picky assist then uh, there are certain situations which require an instant handover for human assistance uh, whenever someone you know uh, submits a form instantly a human uh, can join uh, in any of your team members can join into a chat then the google form becomes a chatting system uh, the moment the customer submits the google form then uh, the internal team will be uh, um, alert through the picky assist platform and they can join the conversation uh, for instant help this is very useful uh, for many complex use cases where the human assistance is required uh, then uh, the live event feed uh, sync to team box that is whatever the form informations which we are collecting here uh, and all these informations can be uh, right uh, synced into the picky assist platform these are the picky assist platforms right here you will be able to see all these kind of events uh, you will be able to see all these events here uh, once the event is been configured so this is so what this is all about the google form integration possibilities you can keep asking the questions if you have any in between which is very uh, based on your use cases so our team will assist you whether this use case is possible or what can be achieved always okay so we will now uh, we have covered google forms and google uh, sheet now it's time to just demonstrate how this practically works with the pkss platform okay so for uh, that we have uh, uh, a google uh, form integration step by step guide which is available in our blog so anyone can prefer and do it then we have a google uh, uh, sorry uh, we will just open one for we have just searched here for the google and it will display all the uh, gates which are related to google products so yeah so let me open these things so these pages all right so this is for the google sheet to sending the periodic uh, alerts uh, from the google sheet and this is for the google ad that we will cover in the next phase of the webinar then the google sheet uh, to whatsapp and google forms to whatsapp so so uh, we are going to now demonstrate the google form and google sheet integration with the pkss platform so uh, the, before that, we will be making use of the uh, Picky Assist connector uh, feature. So let's navigate to the uh, Picky Assist connector platform in the Picky Assist. Uh, and uh, here uh, we will just create a new Google, uh, sorry, no new uh, connector, Google form. We will just go for restore. Okay. So you can create, put any name. So then it gives you uh a unique connecting url so based on this uh we will be going to do do the integration it's very simple you have to just copy paste something so we have the gate here available uh so this is the gate for the google form to whatsapp so uh before you start like if you're an existing customers and got access make sure that uh, you have a WhatsApp channel active in your account and uh, you should have an option uh, to connect with the connector module, then uh, the Google form, you should have access to any of the Google form before, if you are doing live with me. Uh, those who are new to uh, Picky Assist platform or those who are not creating an account yet, then after the webinar, you can create an account and you can just follow these steps to, do, to achieve that. We will be sharing the uh, recording of the webinar uh, to all those who attended the webinar. Okay. So use cases already we have uh, uh, learned what are the different possibilities which we can uh, which we can achieve now getting started we have already completed this step we have created a connector connector url now we have to go to the google form so i am going to use this google form this is the raster order form now i am going to use this from here there is an option called a script editor okay you have to just open the script editor 
so it will be uh, something like this now uh, we have to copy and paste a code which is been published by us uh, here so this is the code which you need to just copy then just paste here that's it now we we can see that the first line var post url you have to change this url uh, with the url which you got generated for the google form so just copy this and paste inside the double quotes make sure that you paste inside the double quotes always all right so no other changes now we can give a any name here google form rotstone or google form whatsapp uh now uh, uh, we have to create a trigger so trigger uh, this step is also available here after you copy and paste you have to click on save okay we just save this uh, then you have to go to a uh, setup trigger in the google form so we will just navigate here this is the trigger options and in the trigger options we click on the add trigger then make sure that on submit head form uh then on not on open on form submit make sure that uh, you have selected this correctly uh, which we have demonstrated here very clearly so you can refer later and do it uh, now uh, save so that's all so it will take some time uh, yeah so it will it will ask for the authentication part okay click on that advanced and go to this is why uh, like uh, it, it is showing like not verified because it is an external app that's why so there are no other uh, issues so now we have authenticated uh, with the uh, with the uh, google account google account and uh Picky assist so uh, this is all done now Now for testing, uh, let's uh, go for the form. Then we have to uh, just get the form link. Open in a new tab. Okay, so I am just filling this uh, form with a mobile number and I can, I can say that I need this information then I will just mention the pin code here so and submit so now what happened if you refresh here you can see one event received by the connector from the google form whatever the information i have filled here it right now arrived right inside the pictures so that is the whatsapp number the item selected and the pin code so what all the information which i filled in the google forms is right away uh, arrived in the PTSS platform. Okay, now let's refresh to map it. Okay, so now we have the information. Now we have to do a uh, field mapping. So field mapping generally do is make sure that you select what's a web automotion. Field mapping is which helps you to uh, map the record, map the uh, map the records with the PTSS platform, so that you will be able to see those event right in the picky assist platform and able to take different actions so you can have different owners if you have multiple users then you can select different owners from right now i'm keeping it for uh, me the owner make sure that you are selecting whatsapp web bottom machine if you are using whatsapp web bottom machine if you are using whatsapp official account then make sure that the the, chan the select channel you are selecting whatsapp official account okay so now we are just going to be map the uh, mobile so mobile with the pick assist mobile so what we are what we have done here is that we have mapped the whatsapp number which from the google form to the pick assist so that the pick assist can uh, uh, identify that this specific field contains the mobile number if we can just give a mobile number uh, for reference purposes then we can add uh, one, anyway mobile number is only thing which we require under the field mapping uh, if you wish to uh, additionally save any information right in, inside the pick assist uh, contact module then you can uh, add here 
uh, now uh, we have steps so the steps and formatter uh, is going to be uh, uh, going to be your ways to do the automation so i will be using the steps so if you create a one step you can give a name to the step now this is the steps will will thank you your customer okay so this will simply thank you your customer and in the in the steps we have filter delay and action uh, actions so filter means you will be able to create different type of filters based on the value which is coming from the form and delay means you will be able to uh, uh, you know before the actions you will be able to uh, uh, pause or uh, delay the uh, executions uh, this will be helpful uh, for uh, for sending uh, alerts in a periodic manner as well so action is something which we are going to use so we have many actions available uh, you can see that we have sent email action sent message broadcaster click to call route to another connector http request you can make an developers can make an http request to another platform like uh, to to save this information to another platform then it is possible for whatsapp web automations to uh, for the uh, for sending message to uh, whatsapp groups and even you can add the users into a whatsapp group as well okay that means like uh, you are uh, if you you are building a community or if you are building a, a group of users uh, who subscribed for your services then you can add a user automatically in a specific group as well then you can even remove a user uh, from a uh, from a group or you can even create a new group this all depends like if the create a new group box like if you have a new customer and if you want to offer them a good onboarding process or so every customer you will be able to create a group with your different team members like your service delivery team or your support team your building team your customer experience uh, team so you'll be able to create a group for individual contact whenever a form is submitted okay then we have another features called the cancel delay and data storage is something which you will be able to store certain data uh, which we are not going to cover each and everything but we are just giving you the possibilities because we periodically conduct uh, more possibilities for the connectors uh, you will be able to we do have a step-by-step -step gate uh, and uh, practical use cases and videos for all these features which we got now the team box features like you will be able to assign a chat to a specific department uh, uh, if you have uh, uh, different departments using the filter, you will be able to assign the chat based on different department. Then the add event feed, which we are going to use right now here. Uh, so this is a new form from, this is a new order form. So we'll just type the event for, we will demonstrate uh, how this works. Now you will be able to, uh, uh, you know, customize the order form details order form uh, items so in the items here in the attributes we'll be able to personalize the data which get from the uh, google form so uh, selected items we will just put it here then delivery address so here we will uh, put the delivery address so this is the delivery address which you have selected that's enough uh, so so that uh, even 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 without uh, if your uh, your team is managing the entire platform or if you require, if you if your business needed to have a two way communication rather than automated communication then these all information will be helpful which give a contextual information to your team members who attend the chat now if it is buttons can also be added but we are not adding the buttons buttons can take different actions uh, the agents can take different actions so we are just adding the event uh, action uh, action then we will uh, add one option called send message so make always make sure that you are selecting the correct channel then the add mobile number you can add multiple mobile number if you want to uh, send messages to multiple mobile numbers you can add multiple mobile numbers here so now we want to send a thank you message uh, to the, the user who fills the form then thank you for your order so this is how so we have now two actions you can create different actions 
uh, here based on your requirements or you can simply duplicate and create more actions or edit existing act, uh, edit and existing make small changes into the uh, content changes uh, i mean to the send message contents or you can create any number of steps here and it will get executed one by one right now whenever a new form submits what what will happen it will come to the step one and which which we have created two actions then it, it goes to the step two if you have configured anything specific there then the steps uh, two will get executed so we are just deleting the step two you can create any number of uh, steps based on your requirements now this is the filter features so here based on the values for an example right now we have a google form restaurant so we we are saying that the pin code okay so in the pin code if you are not delivering to a specific pin code then you will be able to uh, you know exclude those pin code and send the message accordingly okay to the user for example in this cases if uh, it's a pin code then you can select equal to and you can put all the value here so if the pin code in by separated by comma if the pin code is not that the pin code is not matching with this particular pin code then you will be able to send a specific message saying that we are sorry we we are not delivering to this pin code so this is also possible uh, uh, with the with the connector you can create any 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 combination of uh, filters here uh, from any of the variables which is there in your Google uh, form data, you can even uh, you know filter based on the country code. Like for example, I am now starting with the numeric uh, and, uh, where uh, where the starts with. So starts with nine one means that uh, this is going to be an Indian number. If starts with the uh, uh, nine one then uh, it is going to be it, sorry starts with one then we can say it's a us number so based on your country code you will be able to take different actions and you can combine both the filters and you can even define whether to match all the conditions to execute or match any of the conditions so based on these filters you will be able to uh, to create multiple combinations in the steps and achieve great automations altogether Okay, so we I am right now uh, turning off all the filters uh, for the demonstration purpose. So we are just save that. So now if we submit the form, so I am just using. So you can see here right inside the picky assist if you navigate to team box then here you will be able to see uh, okay so even i have not added so that's why uh, in the rest of form we have here uh, Okay, so the, the rest of uh, this form got updated. Now in the, this particular Google Sheet also, uh, we have different statuses configured. So before that, uh, let me demonstrate uh, how whether, whether the message got triggered or not, which is being configured. So here it is got triggered, thank you for your order. Uh, this is a message which we have configured uh, uh, with uh, with the PKSS and which which is got you know configured, but it is not delivered. I have given a wrong number, so that's what it is not delivered. At the same time, uh, the contact is also created uh, with that specific. You can see the contact is created, uh, and in the contact you can see the event also here. This is the event which is being uh, you know here when if you launch the contact. Uh, so this is the event so all the these events can be uh, tracked right from here uh, then if you go to the team box platform then again you will be able to join the chat and uh, send and receive messages so in the chat conversation itself you will be able to see the new contact form here so all the event which comes which is mapped to this specific user will be automatically but this will not be seen to the customer but this will be seen only to the your internal teams this is what we have added 
uh, in the live event feeds under the uh, connector so if you go for the uh, connector live event feeds you can see that uh, i have i have added two action one is to send messages then the message got uh, triggered then the event feed what are all the informations which which i have added here uh, which which captured by the pkss platform and added into the team box for contextual information so you can create more steps to achieve more automations so this is all about the google form integrations now we will just quickly start with the google sheet integration as well so all the all the data the details which we have captured right now here uh, uh, the the google responses google form responses is right now here okay now we i have added one more uh, status here based on as i have uh, told earlier that based on the status update also which we will be able to uh, send messages so for based on the status update message we have to create one more connector here then google sheet status change so we got the connector url here we will need that then we will take the example for google sheet integration so this is again available in our blog step by step instructions available in our blog you can able you can create now we have created this step now we have to start from this uh, this step that is from the extensions go to uh, app scripts which opens uh, very similar to uh, what we have uh, done earlier for the uh, google forms uh, but there is small difference in the code so we have to just copy this entire code so we have to just copy the entire code and paste inside this in this you have to make some changes okay so here we have clearly demonstrated what all fields need to be changed here so here first we have to uh, tell this code on on updating of which column the status uh, on which on updating the which uh, column the event should be triggered okay so in our cases the status is in, in the e so here we have to the target column we have to set to e okay now uh, we have uh, to configure the connector url which we have just created copy this connector url and you have to scroll down just replace this with the make sure that uh, you are pasting inside the uh, double course instead the single this is only single course okay so uh, let's see whether anything need, else need to be done nothing so that's all you just need to copy paste it's a one minute work then we have to just give a name whatsapp alert then save so now what will happen uh, whenever a uh, new whenever a, when, whenever an update uh, happens now one more we have to set up a trigger in the google form so that it can listen for the updates so uh, the trigger is sim very similar to what we have set up earlier uh, now we have to select uh, on edit so you can see uh, the on edit we have to set up on edit then on edit or on change uh, there are a uh, few options so depends on your requirements you will be able to uh, use this uh, whether whether to uh, go for on change or on edit uh, information so i will be now uh, using uh, on edit then save it may again ask for the authorization yeah it, it's going for the other session click on advanced okay now our trigger is configured uh, so uh, now you have to just do an update here in the google form so whenever we are doing an update here and accepted this is an update 
so it should uh, the pkss should receive an uh, event i think yeah we got the event here okay so this is the google form and we got the event here so in the event you can see all the values which is there in that specific row which got which got updated so we updated uh sorry we updated this specific uh, uh record to accept it now all the uh, all the informations on that specific uh, column is right now available uh, sorry in the in, in specific row is right now available in the uh, in the in the cases so we should have a new value as well uh, what were the earlier value in the e and a new value based on that also you will be able to do a different kind of automotions okay uh, so now we have to uh, do further steps just click refresh it and it, the structure gets mapped uh, make sure like you are mapping the structure again if you are making any changes in this uh, in these uh, forms you are adding more information or adding more statuses then you have to make uh, changes in your uh, in your uh, uh, pkss connector as well so we are not getting uh, uh, much deep uh, or technical uh, into uh, in the connector different features but we are just exploring or uh, like uh, uh, giving you a uh, different uh, uh, features so that you can uh, think and you can uh, think what all uh, possibilities you can bring to automate your business communication using the google uh, different products so uh, similarly you can create a steps here uh, if you want to uh, make any kind of a, uh, like uh, uh, filters here then you can select the filters like based on the new value is accepted then uh, do this action so when a new value is accepted send a message that your order is your order is accepted uh, anyway we are not going to demonstrate it once more since we have already covered in detail in our google form how this in their session works and how the actions and filters works and but we will cover one more here uh, uh, that is which we are formatter so for using the formatter in during the initial uh, uh, presentation i have told that it is possible for you to take math calculation so formatter is something which which can do the math calculation so in the math calculations you can uh, define in the formatter we have different formatter available like a date and time which can transform one date from to another date or you can have a uh, uh, you know minus and plus date from a uh, specific given date and then we have counter uh, the counter is the feature which helps you to automatically count a certain value like whenever a google form submits and it can increment the count like one two three four and if you have a limited slot of 50 numbers like for example you have a uh, maximum order capacity of uh, 50 uh, sandwiches in a per day if you are a resto okay so you can limit uh, this uh, uh, this particular form submission based on the uh, counter uh, counter can be assigned and this counter you will you will be able to uh, set up as a alert to your internal team like uh, if your stock is getting updated uh, i mean stock is getting exhausted uh, then based on the counter value you will be able to uh, you know set up different automotions as well so counter is something which helps you to increment or decrement the data based on uh, what exactly you need then line item is basically for the uh, those who are sending invoices or those who are integrating into e-commerce platforms anyway uh, uh, those who have the complex data structure then you will be able to use line item so here we need the math calculations In the math cap calculation we have for these are the uh, operators available like add subtract multiple or divide so uh, based on this combinations you can either manually enter the numbers and separate it by the comma or you can select the fields from the google sheets so based on this you will be able to perform addition subtractions depends on that and save this va value to the uh, final amount whatever the value you can save this value to the uh, a specific field and this specific value will be available uh, in 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 different uh, sessions like you can it, this specific once it is saved then you will be able to get the final amount value in the send messages like if you want uh, to display and send this value then you can just click on this then select the formatter 
then you can see the final amount value just put it so whenever whenever you are sending this message the formatted dot final amount uh, will be replaced with the uh, value which 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 the math the formatter uh, did that means the math calculation did based on the values which is from the google sheet you will be able to you know uh, dynamically uh, give an instant quotation to your customers or even developers can make an http request to generate uh, a google sorry uh, a payment link uh, either it can be a paypal or razor pay or stripe links and can attach that link right inside the uh, message so that uh, uh, the user will uh, get the customized payment link immediately once the form is submitted so any combination uh, can be done uh, uh, using uh, this uh, options um so uh, i think we have almost covered the google sheet possibility now we have uh, one more uh, recurring uh, uh, recurring messages that is birthday uh, or sending uh, birthday or anniversary greetings which works based on the day we i am not uh, getting much deep into that it works very similar to uh, uh, what we have demonstrated so far due to time constraint we are not getting much into deep but it it's it works based on uh, similar logic which we have explained but we have a detailed uh, gate on how this can be achieved uh, that is uh, the recurring uh, greetings uh, but recurring greetings also have a very great use cases uh, like uh, for example uh, for a tax consultation kind of a thing uh, if you have a monthly gst or service tax reminders which happens on 10th of every month so it, it simply ignore the uh, year and month it will take only the date here it mentioned that is uh, 10th so every 10th you don't need to send any uh, reminder ensure of that once you configure the system will automatically uh, send uh, the reminder for a specific group uh, in the pkss platform the tax gst payers so as i said that it is possible to create different tax or groups or categories within the pkss platform so here you don't need to save any numbers anywhere in the excel sheet you can simply upload all your excel sheet or uh, all the customer data and tag them correctly in the pkss platforms okay so that uh, it can automatically send uh, to that specific group of customers that means this particular reminder need to go only to those who are uh, paying gst uh, payers or gst tax payers okay so you can uh, uh, configure to all like if you make it all then it will send to the all uh, segmented list so basically these list uh, the segmentation list you will be able to see here and uh, tax uh, the yearly tax remainder you will be able to uh, send uh, it will simply consider the uh, the uh, day if you want to consider the day and month uh, then it is also possible to consider the day and month uh, 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 like it will consider the day and month and based on that it will uh, you know uh, send the messages the day and month uh, logic works very similar to how the birthday or anniversary greetings works because it doesn't consider the uh, year it considers only the day and month if the day and month is uh, current month the current day and month is uh, true then this specific data will get executed so it works uh, very similar to the google form and google sheet uh, the, for the but it it did need a separate code uh, to be placed so we have the code available right uh, right here so you can see uh, in we have more configuration the target column uh, which which we need to look up obviously in the date field it should be the date field and if you have multiple sheets uh, like here if you have multiple sheets then you you need to mention that sheet specific sheet name which need to be considered then the data offset means uh, you can uh, you know if zero means it will take the current uh, date uh, if minus 1 it will consider that uh, it will take the yesterday data also based on that you will be able to create different offset then ignore year false then ignore month false based on your requirements you will be able to change this data we have uh, a gate which explains uh, how this uh, this different field work zero means what is set to minus 2 to send a message before two days from the given specific date like if you want to send a reminder before two days the due date is there in your excel sheet and you want to send the messages before two days then you will be able to set the data offset is equal to minus two so and if you want to send the message after a specific 
day then you can set it to two and uh, this is how the year and uh, uh, year and month ignore or, or uh, true works uh, depends on your use cases then you will be able to uh, make it true or false and uh, and set up the config uh, configuration is very same to how uh, you have how we have demonstrated with the google form and google sheet so i think now we have covered these two uh, 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 main main products of google sheets and uh, uh, google uh, forms now we are getting into the google uh, gmail yeah google mail okay so google mail is based on uh, our product called what's mail so uh, so what's mail is something which uh, which it is not limited to gmail it can be integrated to any email platform including your outlook or a corporate email addresses uh, those who are not using gmail still it's possible so uh, so what how it works is that whenever a new whatsapp message comes it can send uh, uh, an email to you or to your supporters or to multiple users up to 10 users you can configure to send the email so it can be a generic shared inbox or it can be an individual email or both okay so whenever a new whatsapp message comes you will be able to uh, um, uh, you know uh, redirect that message to a specific uh, uh, email if you are using a ticketing platform kind of a thing it automatically create a ticket uh, then when they are replying it will send us a when your team members is replying it will be sent as a uh, whatsapp message back to that so everything is going to be work within the email uh, you know platform so these are the message uh, features which we have covered with the uh, with the integration of the gmail that is message content based formatting there will be situations like uh, when an incoming message comes in the whatsapp you don't need to forward all the messages to an email you want to forward uh, only messages which contain certain keywords like sales support help kind of a thing then then it is possible to forward the messages uh, or chat based on the uh, messages which your customers are sending to the whatsapp number then it is possible to forward to multiple email as well then apart from that you will be able to reply to an incoming email which comes from the uh, whatsapp so that just as uh, how you are replying to your normal uh, emails when you reply but instead of sending it as an email it will be uh, sending it as a whatsapp message we will demonstrate that as well how it works okay now uh, we have a send whatsapp message from email as well so send whatsapp message from email means uh, you can start a conversation right from the email as well so this is helpful uh, for many use cases where you will be able to start the conversation uh, just by uh, uh, you know uh, putting the mobile number the, the whatsapp number as a subject and you can regularly uh, type your uh, message or uh, add attachment like the proposal pdf or images and send it as an email and that email will automatically convert by picky assist and send to a whatsapp as a whatsapp uh, message and then it works for security reasons it works only with the whitelisted emails so you can tell the systems uh, to uh, to whitelist the you know uh, emails then uh, the system will be able to uh, accept the emails uh, which are sent or received from the specific uh, email address so we will just quickly demonstrate uh, how this works for that uh, this is a, another add on which we have it is not part of the connector uh so we have to uh set up first this under the apps and this app uh, this add-on is called what's mail more information is available in our website so now uh this is a what's mail add-on activated now send all whatsapp messages to now i have whitelisted my email address here this is the email address now this is the unique email address which you will be getting uh to uh, start a conversation so if you want to start a conversation then you have to copy and you have to mention that specific uh, uh, this is this is how it works now uh, if you type here hello this is a message from email you can even attach uh, you know uh, anything let's attach an image okay now if i send this now what will happen uh, this specific mobile number will get this message you will be able to uh, send to more mobile numbers separating by commas okay so i will be sending it only to one number right now 
uh, i think we forget to update this okay okay now uh, this is how the proactive uh, uh, works with the gmail uh, now Uh, this this will take uh, one or two minutes to update because it is not a real time update. We are uh, we are reading the email inbox on a batch basis, so it may take two to three minutes to arrive uh, the uh, the messages from email to uh, WhatsApp. So I will show you uh, once the message is arrived in my WhatsApp, which we have sent. Uh, so this is how the uh, similarly you uh, similarly we can able to. Uh, receive the messages as well uh, from the what's uh, from the whatsapp so for that uh, i am just sending a message now uh, from my phone just a minute let me try to demonstrate with uh, here uh, let me open this yeah we got this email you can see that this is the uh, email which we got uh, this is the message which we have sent uh, from the uh, email which we got right now. Now let's see. Hello. So this message should come as an email here. You can see that this message comes as an email here. The hello comes as an email. You can simply tap reply from email and this, uh, this will be sent as a reply. So we have various uh, settings also available here, uh, like a delimiter and uh, which, which helps you to ignore any messages below a specific uh, point, which helps you to send, uh, get only the replays, like which can avoid all the uh, all the looped threads or thread, uh, thread conversation threads or signatures and everything you can avoid while sending through the WhatsApp, then the sender name can be customized. Uh, this what's mail subject you can always uh, customize uh, with the name and mobile uh, then you here you can you you can either pass the current user reply message or it is even possible to uh, pass a message history as well so that in certain conditions when someone sends a message for for example uh, i need a help okay you have defined in a way that when someone sends a help then uh, that entire message need to be sent to the uh, to an email uh, email inbox but if you receive only help then your team member won't understand anything so this is how the message history comes when you define the message history it lasts 24 hours message or last depends on today history or yesterday history and the history the entire chat history with that specific customers you will be able to send it by email so that the person who are viewing the email are able to see what exactly the conversation was and based on that they will be able to uh, reply it so these are the features uh, which uh, which is been which you will be able to uh, you uh, do it with the what's mail integration you can see that the reply from email i have got these are the uh, since i haven't used the delimiter these are the other informations which comes but if i use that delimiter then those uh, information will be ignored uh, or till the email only it will uh, it will send so you can define your own delimiters uh, and uh, you can do it now the last uh, the last product which we have integration is the google ads so google ads uh, many of uh, marketers doesn't know that google have a lead form similar to facebook lead form many of them knows the facebook lead form and pickyasis do have integration uh, native integrations to facebook lead forms uh, but pickyasis do have integration with the google ads uh, form as well so if you are creating a call to actions in your uh, in your google ads uh, where you collect the informations uh, whenever you are whenever uh, the customers are seeing your advertisement they they, they click on the uh, call to action button then the form can be prompt and this form can be uh, integrated with the picky assist very similar to how we have done the uh, google uh, form integration so i am not uh, demonstrating the entire possibility whatever whatever the possibilities which you can do with the google forms you can do it with the google lead ad form as well uh, but if you go to the step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to set up, it's very simple uh, to get it set up. Generate a, a connection URL here. Uh, 
uh, then uh, it simply go and paste the URL right inside your call to action page. That's it. There is no other, uh, you know, script, copy, paste, nothing is there. Uh, then just click on the send test data. It will send a sample data to pick your assist. Once you receive the sample data in the connector, you will be able to map them and further once it is mapped then immediately whenever someone submits the google uh, google lead form as part of your advertisement campaign they can be uh, you know uh, sent to your uh, team members so it dip depends on the product uh, they will be able to uh, create you will be able to create filters and depends on the product type you can uh, send messages to uh, different team members or you can make use of picky assist uh, pla uh, different products together like uh, adding them into a trip campaign uh, as i uh, as i have explained earlier we have a lot many actions which can be configured as part of the connector which you will be able to perform always uh, whenever an event happens in any third party it doesn't it, it works with a lot many past, uh, uh, platforms not only google platform it works with the soho platforms or hubspot platforms as well Today's webinar is all about uh, so uh, WhatsApp and Google. We will come up with uh, more webinars uh, uh, with uh, uh, other platforms very soon, uh, which demonstrate uh, different possibilities which you can achieve with uh, uh, WhatsApp, Picky Assist, and any third-party platforms. So uh, I believe that uh, this is all uh, uh, for today. Clarified all your doubts, and we are going to end this webinar. Thank you once again, and have a good day.